so there's a lot of education that needs to a happen as well right because for us apart from marketing what we have we then have to have that conversation mm -hmm. about why the coffee is different and people mm -hmm. ask that question why is your coffee different mm -hmm. or why is any other player who is touting a hundred percent Jamaican coffee different and so it takes mm -hmm. five minutes but we don't mind doing that you know because mm -hmm. it lends now to that person hopefully leaving the space that they're in and repeating it to somebody mm -hmm. else mm -hmm. and that's how we continue to educate and build what we have but we're one person so we need a collective mm -hmm. in all of that to build you know what we have as Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee, as Jamaican coffee on the international market, to keep it not even just I, premium, I, you know. I'm going to take you one step further, Nielsen. Not just premium. Mm -hmm. We can't take it to luxury. Because luxury connotes a whole a different whole conversation. Different. So if we were to just focus, come together and sit at the table and figure out how we're going to move what we have currently from where it is back to where it ought to be here's a troublesome question and i don't know if oh you dear. want to answer it but I, I, i'll put it on the table nonetheless so we we, we have many um organizations and, and as you speak about coming together mm -hmm. so there is the 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 coffee there's the association which represents the the, the coffee um, farmers producers mm -hmm. out of jamaica it's jacka right Mm -hmm. There is well, Jacra is the regulatory board, the regulator. right? And they're the, they're the regulators, and mm -hmm. then you do have um, associations, whether it's the Jamaica Coffee Exporters Association or the Jamaica Coffee Growers Association. Mm -hmm. But um, Jacra, as a regulator, they're the regulator makes the rules, yes. And, and then you have the, the tourist board, the Ministry of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. So we have so many organizations, or institutions, or agencies which should represent, how is it then so difficult to, to have this conversation about the coming together, the planning, the focus, the proper marketing, the putting that conversation I, I, I together? I don't have an answer to that question. Um, it's a very provocative question. So if I were to truly answer it, I might get my brother-in-law, who is the managing director, in trouble. But what I do say, because you have called all of those players, it would be interesting to have them in a room and mm -hmm. ask that question to see if we could come up with an answer. And maybe we should do that. Maybe we should show. do that, yes. But I don't have a definitive answer mm -hmm. to the question. What I can say is, um, and, and, and I speak about this without apology, mm -hmm. In terms of the coffee industry, I think we are a bit selfish in, in how we're going about what we're going about. Mm -hmm. um, there is a monetary part of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is your business model. But then there needs to be what I call a long view mm -hmm. of where are we going to be in 10 years, for example. Mm -hmm. So coffee has moved from the late 90s from 500,000 boxes to I think last year it was shy of 250,000 boxes. Mm, that's, that's a, a nice precipitous drop. drop. Mm. And if we continue along that trek, what will become of us in another mm. 10 years? That's our fear mm. as, a, as a family um, and as a company. But, but the model is there mm -hmm. that we've, we've, even with our individual self and our individual businesses, the model is there. Um, certainly, if you look at tourism, mm -hmm. where the Jamaica Tourist Board, in spite of the fact that you have so many different hotels and even so many different sizes of hotels, the Jamaica Tourist Board markets Jamaica as a destination. So the model is there for us to, to, to do it across um, different products or services. Yes, you're correct. The model is there and it's working somewhat in some parts of the industry. Mm -hmm. um, but here's a provocative question for you. Why is it that Afrobeats has taken on the kind of, of international recognition that it has with the draw and pull that it has, but our dance hall just didn't seem to pivot all the way there? 
And if you look at it, it's the same movements you're looking at. The, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm no, by no means an expert in music, but I'm hearing some of the same beats, for example. The, 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 the only good thing out of that is that the conversation is now begin to happen, beginning to happen, even in the, the, the circles, music circles. Unpleasant True. for some, True. But, but the conversation has True. started. But, but I come back now to the mm -hmm. question that you asked about coffee. And just as I was saying earlier, that there needs to be a direct definition between what is a blend, what is 100% Jamaican, um, what is imported coffee, for example, what is instant coffee. Because if you go, let's, let's look at what should be our biggest market, mm -hmm. which is the hotel industry. And oh, I may yes. get in, in trouble for this as well. Um, if you ask the average wait staff in the hotel, what am I drinking? And I've done this several times. Mm -hmm. They'll say, Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee. <laughs> and I'll say, oh, can you show me the pack? Because if you're a consumer of the coffee, you will discern the difference in taste, mm -hmm. right? When I look at the pack, I'm thinking, oh, but whose fault is it that the wait staff is saying it's Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee? So let's fast forward a little bit. The tourist is sitting down. They have had a sip of this coffee and the way staff has says it's Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. But the tourist says, hold on a second, in their minds because they're polite. But there isn't anything special about this cup of coffee. Fast forward, they're at the airport checking out and they're thinking, should I, should I not buy a pack? Why would I then spend $50 if I didn't think that it was special in the hotel when I was, when I was having it or consuming it? Mm -hmm. So it is to educate and to make clear what what is what are mm -hmm. you really drinking yes it's mm -hmm. a good point and, and and again it comes back to marketing so i guess that that, that work will be left on um, blue mountain coffee ventures <laughs> well <laughs> i don't know that we want to carry that on our shoulders alone what we're saying is mm -hmm. that we know what the issues are we know what the problems mm -hmm. are let's come together as a collective and mm -hmm. solve them um, we don't want to, Blue Mountain Coffee Venture Limited doesn't want to carry that on our shoulders mm -hmm. alone. We're not the only purist in the market, okay. right? So le let me be very clear about mm -hmm. that. Um, there are other persons who are like-minded, mm -hmm. who are carrying 100% Jamaican coffee. Mm -hmm. But we know what the issues and, and are. there is a market. We, we just need to have the focus. We have to have the commitment and the dedication. Mm -hmm to solving those issues because once again, if we do not solve those issues, what will happen to us in a decade? So we have perk up in the market um, in most retail shops and we continue to sensitize our customers to the mm -hmm. taste of perk up, which is what you're having this morning. Right? Very good. Very That's good. Perk thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In terms of the market for coffee out there, so we, are, we have already agreed that Blue Mountain Coffee out of Jamaica, even the purest uh, of Blue Mountain Coffee, is finite. It is only so much. Mm -hmm. Is there great opportunity to grow our share of that pie? Yes, I think so. Because um, we fall into the, what is called the specialty market of coffee. Mm -hmm. And worldwide, that is increasing. Okay. The metrics are there. I don't have it at the top of my head, but mm. there are several studies that have been done that shows how specialty coffee is growing. So mm. what we want to ensure is that we keep that space. We mm. keep our voice to be continued to be heard. Mm. So there are lots of opportunities for us. Um, the local players know that, but we do need the help, mm -hmm. not just from the policymaker perspective, mm. but in terms of funding, to ensure that we can mm -hmm. we can attend these international these international trade shows for example and continue to showcase the best of Jamaica because going to a trade show by yourself as an individual is not a cheap venture mm -hmm. at all mm -hmm. um, so you know we we ha we've had it in the past mm -hmm. um, I think I think I saw the JMEA coming up with something for next year mm -hmm. um, if my memory serves me right we need to just robustly continue that and have a marketing plan and spread mm -hmm. that speaks to, as I said, not just premium, mm -hmm. but luxury. And if we're saying luxury, then we have to have the messaging behind mm -hmm. what luxury is all about. All right. So, so there's two things I want to I wanna touch quickly on. 
in terms of Jamaica as a destination, mm -hmm. um, we're, we're, we're getting a lot of um, big ups in terms of our culinary. And, and, and we've seen sidewalk cafes when you go to Europe, it's, it's, it's little coffee shops, it's, mm -hmm. it's big business. Yes. Um, given our culinary tastes and our culinary skills and our coffee, why are we not having more of that, say, in Kingston itself? Hmm. And even to the extent of having festivals surrounding? Um, it, could, it could be a function of money. What you're speaking about requires an investment. Mm -hmm. Where is the investment going to come from? Is it going to be just private sector? Or is it going to be a, a combination of private and public sector in order to mm -hmm. keep what we have alive? Jamaican food, nice. It is. Everything about <laughs> Jamaica is nice, and that's why we can see branding that says Jamaica nice. Mm -hmm. There's a truth to, to that. Yes. And brand Jamaica is, uh, that, well, it has taken on a whole life. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see so many people from overseas wanting to be Jamaican, even if they're far removed, some five generation. <laughs> you know, they'll say, I'm yeah, Jamaican, right? They don't sound Jamaican, but they hold on to, I am Jamaican. Mm -hmm. So 